Give me a podcast. <laughs> Sam James, said Sam James on the fire card earlier. Sam James coming out. He's fired up for this fight opposite the legend of MMA standout Minhaj Rahman. Yep, Minhaj, represent legends. Is that Yadi? Sam James? Sam James, I think he's independent. Oh, cool. That's all right. Independent fighter. This guy's mates with him. He's got good tattoos. I think one, of, like one of his friends has fought before, definitely. Yeah. It's hard to be an independent fighter, but sometimes it's just that you're training at different gyms, you're getting a lot of input, and oh, yeah. it's hard to have That's a true. singular coach above you. You Nobody don't want to would. insult anybody, so you <laughs> allow. Well, I don't like those, Steve. This is my personal preference. You see his corner men, they're all very experienced. I'm sure they know what they're doing. All different shirts. I like to come out, and all my team is in the gym shirt, or they've got a shirt with my name on it. Just a little bit of branding. And especially when you look at the other team, and maybe they're a bit more polished, how they look. They got the branded bucket and towel, you know. Uh, just give that confidence. It helps. Some He's got shorts. old school board shorts. I like old school board shorts. Too. Yeah, that's how you hide all the damage to leg kicks. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> Last battle arena, Steve. Someone had very old school green tap out shorts, like the embroidered snake ones or something. I, after the show, I spent about two hours trolling eBay, Amazon, all the sales sites. I was trying to find one of these old school tap out MMA shorts. And apparently, they don't make them anymore. Or well, you can't find a used pair. This is literally, you just you just find them in a charity shop. Yeah. Look at the branded team, Steve. Yeah. Can you see what I mean? And then they got Minhaj Rahman t shirts. You know, it's the silent He's got his own logo. He's got his own saying on it, the Min silence. Minaj Rahman, man, really, really good guy. He was afraid that he wasn't going to be able to make the weigh-ins yesterday because he's a teacher full-time. Oh, he teaches cool. business full-time and he whoops ass at night. That's so, pretty cool. You know, a bit reminiscent of my old fighting days, but the thing is with him is he's had a lot of really good input. He was a member of Kangrang Muay Thai for many, many years, and now he's moved over to Legends of May. He's an absolute specimen. He's got explosivity coming out of his eyeballs, and I'm pretty sure if you wanted to make napalm, all you got to do is put a little bit of Minaj Rahman in it. The guy is absolutely a nuclear bomb. Very powerful, very strong coming forward. He's got a very good team behind him. Sam Jones hitting himself in the Sam head. Jones punching himself in the face. Motivating himself. Some fighters like that. Is a Brad Pinkett like to slap his fighters? Yep. He likes to get slapped a himself. A little slap, a little sting ain't bad. You just don't want any like <laughs> any concussive, sub-concussive blows. It's uh, Nathan Wood and, and Brad Pinkett. Brad pretty much just lights him up before he goes out to fight. Very, very confident look about Binaj Rahman. He, a, he did take off a few pounds too. So yeah, he's, he's looking lean. Sam Jones in the yeah, uh, this black is and an white. intense stare off. <laughs> this is great. Minaj, the silencer Rama. Will he be out of silence? Neither of them looked Sam away Jones. either, baby. Neither of them looked away. This is on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Let's go. We talk about that Thai boxing experience of Minaj. And they, you can see it straight away with those leg kicks. I don't like that. Sam is dropping his. Yeah, Sam quite yeah. heavy on that front foot as well. Very boxing stance. Yeah, Floyd Mayweather the style, low front hand. It works great in boxing, that low front hand, because you can block with the shoulder, but in MMA, whoa! 
In MMA, where those kicks are coming over your shoulder, you've got to be much more careful. Yeah, I was going to say, I see him dropping that left hand, and I'm thinking, high kick, I love the timing on that. Big double leg coming. Huge double leg. Becoming a bit of a staple there from the Legends MMA faithful. I want to see if he's going to Khabib it up with the legs. He's got it brilliantly. Yeah. He triangled his legs very well here. That's he so good. keep those knees in. And that's what we see from top gyms like Legends. They, the evolution of the sport, they're following it so closely. Those new techniques, those new ways of dominating these positions. And the more Sam James holds on here, the more the more tired out he's going to be getting in terms of his arms. And now he's going to be able to get his head up, and now he's got good head position there. Very strong. Perfect. And now he's firing in punches. He's bringing his knees up. He's in a good mount position here. Yeah, landing some nice little peppery shots. Slips from uh, having the legs wrapped up into a full mount. Thunderous shots to the body. Very nice. James trying to get his hips out, trying to even yeah. give to the body, and now some big ground and pound coming from Minaj Rahman. Yeah, Sam James looking desperate. He wants to silence the crowd here in Coventry. Referee Stuart Davis taking a very close look at this. Sam James looking a bit stuck. So far outclassed. 70 seconds remaining. This is a lot of time for Minaj to work without seeing any sort of any real defense here from James is working to walk his feet off the cage but those right hands of Minaj are finding their way through he's using his own hand as kind of a, a range finder there and he's just dropping punches with a lot of power the thing I like as well about our referee here this is Stuart Davis from uh, BMAC he will let this fight go a little bit he's obviously protecting the fighters but he's sitting there yeah that was it there we go big pound and he gets it done he is called Raman, the silencer he, for a reason. He makes it 2-0 for Legends MMA tonight. Sam James was never really in that fight. Took him a little bit of time. But man, Minaj Rahman gets the takedown. Gets the ground and pound victory. Yeah, and let's be honest, he made that look pretty easy as well. He came in you know, very, well, very well put together. A little slip there, but he rebounded from it very quickly. And used it to take people out very well. I want a silence t-shirt, Steve. They're pretty cool. I know. I can't believe I didn't get one. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely get one. I'm going to go and see about it. It might be come across as biased. Maybe. Steve, get my photo. There we go. Get the fighters in. <laughs> yeah. I can see the disappointment there on Sam James, but just outclassed early on. Silencer wins again. 